I love abortion. Huh? Nobody likes abortions. Everybody should come over here, bro. Come on. Bruh. It doesn't even make sense, though. Like, <laughs> the people <especially laughs> anti-abortion should be coming up. But I don't think anyone likes an abortion. Like, they're not, like, jumping for joy for it. I think it is a very physically oh, yeah. taxing process to go through, and I don't think anyone would want to intentionally have an abortion. I think those who get an abortion, most of the time, it's because they need to. It's a harmful narrative on both sides of the conversation to say that you know women celebrate abortion. Um, I think it creates a prejudice around women who do get abortions. Um, and I, I don't think that it's good to kind of um, minimize the decision of abortion um, from either side, from either perspective, so. Can the disagree a step forward? I'm gonna have some good um, I think if you asked me this question maybe several years ago, I would have said nobody likes abortion. But I think in today's climate, it is much more celebrated. As a pro-life person, I've had people tell me that they will dedicate their next abortion to me. Bro, what? That's tough. Wow. Like, how, how did that come up in normal conversation? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> to you, things like, um, I'll, I'll donate to Planned Parenthood in your name. And there's other pages like Shout Your Abortion that um, openly celebrates abortion rights. Yeah, I celebrate I abortion and I think that campaigns like Shout Your Abortion aren't about like getting in your face, but women who choose to have abortions uh, suffer a lot of stigma and trauma from people who stand outside clinics and have grotesque images and literally, no, you know, damn. damning your soul. There, there are people who do stand outside of uh, the clinics with those, with those like pictures. <laughs> I used to live by it. And literally, rain, snow, like even in the dead of winter, there would be people outside. One of them would wear like a Grim Reaper like costume, not just a mask, like costume with a whole scythe and everything. Another person would have like a whole like like poster board, like a like a science project full of like mutilated like oh um, my babies in the boat. Nah, stuff. they hyped it. They hyped and I'm it. and I'm literally in the second grade, like, and I'm driving past every morning going to school, like seeing this. I'm like. Abortion as a medical procedure and resource is something that I do celebrate. It's a human right, and I love abortion. Huh? Hold up. Wow. Hold up. Whoa. Whoa. Huh? Whoa. 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 Wow. Bro, I did not expect she that. Did, did she not need to explain to me more. She's already saying she loves the society. right. Bro, that is not just saying. Oh, because, because they have the right to. I love it. That's an outlier in society. You do not see that. Why is she on this right here, bro? She's an outlier. You don't see that too. Um, my name is Rocky. I use she, her pronouns. Wow. I'm from Austin, Texas, is crazy. and I am very pro-abortion. Right. I think that legislation like SB8 opens the door and the path towards handing over our bodily autonomy to the state. I don't understand how um, anyone can justify using their personal beliefs to take away the rights of others. My name is Abby. I'm from Orlando, Florida, and I'm an abolitionist of human abortion. We have to ask the question of what makes humans valuable. So because my worldview as a Christian gives me a foundation for human worth. And because I believe scientifically fetuses are human beings on the moon of conception, I am against abortion. Biological fathers should have an equal say in abortions. Bruh, come on, keep walking. Mm. Keep walking, bro, what are you doing? Well, I think so, I mean, it's consistency. Like if we're defining that as a life, if it is life to put a kid up for adoption, both parents have to agree. I agree. I have talked to lots of women who've had abortions and I've talked to lots of men who are hurting. They're, they're completely heartbroken. They would have raised the baby. They wanted to raise the baby. They begged for the life of the baby and they obviously created the baby together, but only one well, this guy doesn't know what he to believes. decide. He doesn't <laughs> know. <laughs> Yo, he's having a hard time, bro. <laughs> what I'm gonna say is that like, I, you know, like um, he should at least have a say, even if the girl still decides like, you know, the man should at least have something yeah, say. it shouldn't be equal say because I mean he's not the one who has to go through like childbirth and everything. But he should have some say because I mean if he's serious yeah. about like 
he's going to stay in this child's life and raise it. That should be put into consideration, even if the mother doesn't want the child. He, she could just, like, leave, and then he could take care of the baby. At the end of the day, he physically can't exceed a certain, like, type of say, if that makes From sense. more of a honestly feminist perspective, um, men have responsibility as the other parent of that child. Ironically enough, a lot of the times when um, pro-choice people put the focus completely on the woman, they strict the man of all his parental rights and responsibilities. And I think that's why, actually, a lot of men who are pro-choice are pro-choice because they don't want to have those fatherly responsibilities responsibilities that they will have once the child is born. You left us, man. I want to know why. Right. <laughs> it's a struggle. Yeah. <laughs> I'm mad conflicted about this because I strongly feel like a man should not have control over what a woman does with her body. That's not what the question is. I more so have an issue with when a man doesn't actually want that baby. She wants it and then expects this man to like be the ultimate provider and child care and all this extra stuff, right? But in the case of if the man wanted it, the baby and the woman didn't want it, he has no say so. I think that's a fucked up dynamic. It is what so it that's is, why bro. I was going it is back. What it is. You, what do you expect? You want her to make the risk while you reap the rewards? Well, he also neglected the fact that guys could just like dip if he didn't want, like <laughs> he, he said like, uh, like no, to be honest, like if the guy doesn't want that baby, <laughs> He's gonna go to the store to get some milk, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> then, I mean, child like support that, gonna be on your yeah, ass, but I mean- You have to find you first though. You know, there's actually a thing called like child support tag, cause for you to actually be put on child support, you have to touch the papers. There was this one story of this one girl who sent a guy with the papers, right? And he snuck up to like the baby daddy and he he just, he tagged him with the papers and then he got put on child support. Like right. apparently there's that's the rule. So like, if you don't touch the papers- What if you cut oh, up your arm? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some woman would be like, no, you have to do this. Cause I think it's up is her body but it's also like a child's man. life in there it's not just her body it's a child's and life it's also but, but your still. son or daughter i think truly in my eyes it's like Dog. it's my body i get to do what <laughs> i want with it and i don't think anyone including the person the other person who's involved should have a say whether i want to keep it or whether i want to get an abortion should have a say my name is asher uh, currently reside in las vegas and i'm for pro-abortion i used to be against abortion until an unwanted pregnancy happened uh, to me. How is it that because this unwanted pregnancy happened, all of a sudden that you just compromise on your conviction? I think his yeah, just convictions were strong enough to begin with. That's the, that's the answer, I think. Bro, so you can see it in this video. You can see it in this video. <laughs> his his is not every Everybody else is solid. He's just Bro. out here yeah. playing tag on himself. <laughs> he might be not even sure right now. <laughs> At the end of the video, he's going to be standing over there again, bro. He's going to be standing <laughs> on that side. If you that's know for a fact that you're not even going to be the best parent for that child, or you can't provide for that child, or maybe you're just fearful and don't want to pop a child out of you, um, or just whatever reason that you have, I feel like you shouldn't have to go through with that. You still have that choice over. You shouldn't have to have sex, unprotected sex. I there are issues where like the uh, the condom like rips like a little bit on accident, and then bro, maybe, if like, you if more. you really really are terrified of abortions, bro, just get a plan B every single time, <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> uh, women take a plan B more than three times a year. Uh, she could have infertility. I don't think that's the truth. Bro. I do know that if you have a two option, though, it can cause problems. I do know that. But you can also get birth control. Like, it's not just plan B. You can get birth control. Birth control Issue. reduces it. Plan B plus birth control is like basically 100% guaranteed. No baby. This, my point is that there's like, <laughs> to get to the point of abortion, bro, you must have not cared at all about, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Issue, like, yeah. if you really cared yeah. enough, you could, you could, come on, you could go around. I have had an abortion. Hmm, interesting. A few months ago, I... Um, found out that I was pregnant. When I imagined myself finding out I was pregnant for the first time, I wanted it to be celebrated. And in that moment, I felt such severe anxiety. And I felt, and having Bro, that- what? Oh, oh okay, I okay, felt I you, I, I like the entire time I was just in a lot of emotional pain, grieving, I was debating. Yo, this is just bad, bro. Like, <laughs> you know, we were talking about our abortion, we were laughing at this guy. I was laughing because we were already talking about how on the fence he was on every question. And I was like, <laughs> how the heck are you on the fence? <laughs> Either you know or yeah. you don't. <laughs> on every question, he's late. And then, he's, like, he's like two minutes late on every question, bro, no matter what it is. Bro. And, then, yeah, is and then I started yeah. contemplating, wait, did he like physically have an abortion? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Yo, he doesn't know what he is, bro. And in that moment, I felt such severe anxiety. And I felt, and having that, I felt I, like the entire time I was just in a lot of emotional pain, grieving. I was debating about myself, about what, how I would be looked at or how I would view myself after getting the procedure done. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I'm nervous. <laughs> so I'm gonna be real careful with my words. Clearly, as a man, I can't have an abortion. But uh, my girlfriend, um, We've had two abortions. Ooh. She didn't really want to have a baby. Uh, 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 I don't uh, really uh, want to have a baby. Pause, 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 pause. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Come on, please. Okay. We, we, we got to listen to the explanation. It's not even off of hookups. It's with his girlfriend. It's with his girlfriend. You have two yeah. abortions. All right. I'm, I'm sorry. Let's, get, let's keep going, bro. I want to hear this real quick. He's but, laughing about this. Uh, my this girlfriend, sick. she didn't really want to have a baby. I didn't really want to have a baby. And I know for me, I don't want to be that seen as that deadbeat father person but i knew i wasn't really trying to sacrifice my own dreams or what i was trying to accomplish to be a dad at that point i think that's <laughs> definitely like one of the biggest things to consider because i wasn't in any kind of position to be a mother yeah. you know so it's like i want to get my shit together before i can have a baby and give it a, a life that it deserves pause it bro now nah, we need to talk about this. Oh, yeah yeah, yeah you're gonna have to pause it because now nah, this is not even funny anymore bro yeah, this Who is already... abortions, man. <laughs> like, yeah. What if bro. his girl is just as like <laughs> indecisive, bro? Yo, bro. indecisive as him. Maybe walking back and forth to the abortion center, bro. <laughs> After the first, we were like, "All right, no, let's be more cautious moving forward, so this doesn't happen until we're ready." The second time, it's more of like, a, I just don't want nah, it. Like, straight, I up, don't, straight up, I was like, shit, I can get away it with like, it. I did it before, like, I'm going to do it again. And even you can tell, I mean, he said he was nervous, but even you can kind of tell from the way he's explaining it. He's that laughing, he's a very, man. like, like, like he straight up just didn't want it. He's, he's the worst possible pro-choice advocate I've ever seen, bro. bro Jubilee be finding the worst people. Bro, where they find people like, bro? I don't know. Bro, they get him from the streets, bro. I swear, they get him from the streets. Random people from the streets, and that's like always like the most like unrelatable people. Oh, he's so undecisive, bro. He doesn't know yeah. what he's thinking, bro. He probably he probably wanted the baby, then you told her to get a, an abortion, and then yeah. he guilty about the abortion. So he's like, "Yo, let's try again." But then yeah. he was like, "Nah, nah, nah, I changed my mind again." And then that's how he got through, bro. Shit, thoughts in the comment section. What do you guys think? Catch you on the next one.